It's the high-tech super show that gives the world a peek into what the future holds. All the big companies flock to Las Vegas for the consumer and electronics show every January to showcase new technology that will find its way into our homes and lives. Las Vegas is famous for so many things. The gambling, the shows, the bright lights, the strip and this mind-blowing entertainment venue they call the Sphere, where they put the tech into architecture. Now you know what they say, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, right? Not this week. This is the week where what happens in Vegas makes its way into homes around the world as the biggest tech companies showcase their latest gadgets, gizmos, innovations, everything technology. So let's take a look at the Consumer Electronics Show, CES 2024. Well, if you thought the TVs couldn't get any bigger, thinner, brighter, think again. This is the transparent LG OLED T that at the touch of the button reveals what's behind it. It could be a bookshelf. It's magic. It is a premium product. It is the future of TV technology, we think. And it's designed to look good when it's on and when it's off. The TV might be transparent, but the price isn't. All we know is they won't be cheap when they hit stores later this year. Meanwhile, TCL clearly believes size does matter. TCL's 115-inch mini LED TV will be the biggest television in Australia this year. But it's a battle of the brands, with Hisense launching not one, but three TVs, 100 inches or bigger. We've got a Q7 coming in, we've got a U7 coming in, and then that ultra premium UX as well. So there will be options for, for all consumers. At Samsung, TVs aren't just getting bigger, but smarter. So with our Neo QLED 8K TV, what you're going to see is how AI can make that picture quality that much better an experience for you at home. So not only is it a better picture, but now with the technology in these TVs, they can control your whole smart home. And it wouldn't be a tech show without robots. If you want to watch me be on the go, you can ask Bully to project up onto a wall. If you want to take a FaceTime call, you can ask Bully to project onto any flat surface. You can even ask it to entertain your pets while you're not there. Why do I need a robot smart agent in my home? It suits your mood, so it can read your facial expressions and also your tone of voice, and it can set the mood for you based on your individual mood. So my little robot's going to know if I've had a bad day. Exactly. Years ago, cars used to get you from A to B. Now, they can drive themselves. Some can even fly. Electric vehicles are dominating this year. Even LG have zoomed in with this concept car. It's a good example of the future technology that LG is producing. Not just screens, but we're also looking at batteries and uh, EV vehicle chargers uh, as a future solution. The Mercedes car of the future will drive itself. The eyes are off the road now. The hands can be off the steering wheel and the driver is able to perform different activities, watching movies, doing a video conference, or something else. Flip, see the future of transport here or a long way off? Look, some autonomous features in cars, they're already here with us, but for autonomy on the road, it's at least 10 years away. Flying cars, forget it, not in my lifetime. From cars to care, gadgets to help you stay healthy. This little device could save you a trip to the doctor. This is a stethoscope, an ECG, blood oxygen level and temperature monitor, so you can do all those things at home. Think summertime and think how annoying it is to get a mozzie bite. Well, this is Heat It. It's a little device you put into your smartphone, then you tell it you've had a mozzie bite, you press start, it heats up the element to about 50 degrees, and then you place it on the mozzie bite, and it not only takes away the need to itch, but it takes away the pain. This is Oro. It is a robot companion for your dog. So you're at work, it's been a long day and you're worried about your dog, do not worry anymore. Oro has been roaming around your home, playing games with your dog, shooting tennis balls out here. The dog is playing fetch, which is a simple thing to keep your dog active during the day. Cat lovers, this is for you. This is Flappy, the smart cat door. So basically, your cats can come in and out of the door like normal, except if there's times of the day or the week you don't want them to go out, you can program that so the door is locked. And if your cat brings home an unwanted guest, a rat, a mouse, or maybe killed a bird, the door won't unlock. It won't let it through the door because it knows it's carrying an unwanted guest. 
This is a smart electric pram, so parents will love this. Onboard speakers, so you can play Bluetooth music or white noise for your child, and there's an app that will make the pram rock itself, so while you're enjoying a coffee, the baby is relaxing and sleeping, hopefully. <sighs> Covering a show like this is a tough gig. Running around at high tech speed can really drain the battery, so time to relax and think about CES 2025. I think the transparent TV wins it for me, but plenty there to think about and look forward to. Who knows what 2025 will bring.